So in this video, I'm going to show you a very unusual concept of how to raise the vibration or energy of your food. Now, it's based on the same principles that kinesiology and muscle testing or how energy healers work. And that is that all things have a vibration and energy. And this has even been proven in science in things like string theory, where they say that all atoms are even broken down into smaller bits of vibrating strings, proving that they are energy. So if you can grasp the concept that not only everything has an energy, but that everything is energy, it's not a big leap for you to know that people can use this energy to heal others or to put this energy into anything uh, such as food. So the way kinesiology works is that basically you have a vibration in your body and if you want to test to see if you want a food or an herb or supplement, that has a vibration as well. So you put the, the herb, let's say, in your mouth or at a certain part of your body and if your body tests strong, in other words, your body has energy and it's strong as opposed to being weak, then that has some benefit to your body, either healing, nourishment or detox or something like that. You can see my video on kinesiology and muscle testing to learn more about this. It's a uh, great concept, deeply rooted in science. The way energy healers work is basically what they do is move the inner energy or what the Chinese call their chi within their body and they create a flow and move it into the meridian lines or energy lines of the person they're trying to heal. And of course there are thousands and thousands, an infinite amount of testimonials of people saying they've been healed of illnesses and disease and many other things. So there are a, a lot of proof that, that this type of thing works. You might already be familiar with something like this, such as Reiki or Qigong as I teach or Tai Chi. Even acupuncture works on these meridian points, moving energy through your body. What we're going to do here sounded crazy to me at first when I learned it too. I was studying Qigong in China that you could put your energy into the food and it will somehow help you. But what we did first with this is we used to put infuse the same energy into plants and you would see the plants that we infuse this energy into would grow two to three times bigger in half the amount of time. There was a very clear difference between these giant vibrant plants that we were putting this chi into every day versus the ones that we weren't that didn't even look like the same type of plant yet it was. So there, there's a lot of things that back this up for me and, and the reason why I continue to do it. Now, I've chosen uh, these three things to, to show you with here, particularly because they all have water in them. So this is pickles with brine, um, this is kombucha on a second ferment, and this is kombucha on a first ferment. And uh, you can see my videos on how to make all these, they all have great health benefits for you. And the reason I chose these is because water is very easy to, for you to assimilate energy into because it accepts it very well, and our bodies, as you know, is mostly water. So. If you uh, want to know more about this and how easily water accepts this, just take a look at Dr. Emoto's work and his book called The Hidden Messages of Water. It's a great read and tells you how positive intention can help the energy of water and change it on a cellular level. So basically what we're going to do is create this movement of qi within our body. And if you, this is all new to you, check out my free video on Qigong at YouTube. And you'll see hundreds of comments of people doing it for the first time and saying how much they felt the energy in their hands and in their body and how much better they felt afterwards, either physically or emotionally. A lot of great comments on there about that. So you can learn in a more powerful way how to do this. But basically, what we're going to do is move the energy within our body in the toroidal field the way it naturally moves. So the energy is generated from what's called our dantian, which is below our belly button. And it's done with three things. That's movement, breath, and intention. So if you start the movement, you're going to put the tongue to the roof of your mouth, and you're not going to do this every time you uh, go to eat because it's kind of making a big dramatic deal of it, and I'm going to show you what I do without doing that. So you move this by breathing and imagine in your mind the intention of moving this energy into your hands for the purpose of putting it into your food for positive healing benefit. So as you start to do this and breathing, so you're breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And you'll start to feel a certain weight in your hands. And to inspire it further, 
can rub your hands together, clap them, whatever it may be, and pull this ball of energy apart with your hands. And people are easily, easily able to do this in all my classes, my meditation classes, Qigong classes. And you're going to imagine this toroidal field moving in and out of the food that you're going to put this into. So you'll see this field in your mind's eye and moving it with positive intention and love and putting that into the food. And if you're sensitive to this, you can feel the energy of the food change. And I do this for a couple of reasons. It's not only because I know the positive benefit this has in the food. And I, I, I do this with just about all my meals for two reasons. I don't make, like I said, this big dramatic deal. I'll just put my hands on the sides of it and I'll imagine the energy moving out of my body into the food so it will assimilate well with my body. But the second reason that I do this for is because Ayurvedic medicine will tell you that the worst thing you can do is eat food when you're stressed out or in a rush or standing up because you then have cortisol moving through your blood and the cortisol will create a very acidic environment. So you might as well throw any of the nutrients that's in your food right out the window because you're not going to get any because your body is not able to accept that. So when I do this, it slows me down. It reminds me to not only enjoy my food, but allow it to assimilate into my system. So what does that take you? An extra minute or two to do this and, and, and allow you to absorb so much more of the nutrients that are in the food and for you to not only enjoy it better, but have a more healthy experience. Taking slow, deep breaths has been scientifically proven to lower cortisol. So taking the time for this will greatly help your digestion. You can see a lot of uh, information on my site, theartofunity.com, about Qigong. I have specific videos there for weight loss and digestion, one for dealing with anxiety and depression, lowering stress, and this kind of thing. This is a great technique. I think that you'll find a lot of success with it if you try, just take an extra minute to do that, and like I said, even if you don't believe in the, the energy work and what this can do to your food, it can slow you down to the point that you'll enjoy your food more. So for that reason alone, it's very much worth trying. I hope this works well.